Blender is one of the most powerful 3D tools out there. But let's be real, most people who try to learn Blender fail, they get stuck, they quit and then they never touch it again. But why? Is Blender too hard? Is 3D modeling just not for everyone? No, the real reason why people fail at Blender isn't what you think. And today, I'm going to show you exactly why most of the beginners give up and how you can avoid making the same mistakes. So let's get into it. But before starting, if you are a Blender artist, a 3D enthusiast or you just love cool designs, then do check out the JB3D Studio Merc Store. We have got exclusive Blender and 3D themed hoodies, stickers, bags and other accessories. All this to level up your creative journey. Apart from this, you can also get high quality 3D models, Blender files with materials, textures and other digital products all put together on this Merc Store. So whether you want to show off your 3D passion or grab some must-have have creative tools, there is something for everyone on this store. Also, use the code WELCOME30 to get flat 30% off on all the orders. Every purchase directly supports the channel and helps me keep creating more valuable content to help you in your Blender journey. So you open Blender for the first time and boom, too many buttons, too many shortcuts, too many menus. It feels like you'd need a PhD just to move the camera and this is where most people get stuck. They try to learn everything at once. They want to model something, sculpt, texture, animate, then do some crazy things like simulate the fluids, make VFX all in the first week. But here's the truth. Blender is not actually hard, you are just trying to do too much too fast. And to fix this, the solution is to focus on one thing or one topic of Blender at a time. So if you want to model, ignore the animation part. If you want to focus on sculpting, then forget about the shaders and other things. In even simpler words, master the basics of each topic one by one. The next big mistake is watching too many tutorials without practicing. Look, I get it, tutorials are great, but if what all you do is watch without actually using Blender, then you are not learning. You are simply consuming the content of an instructor. And in fact, if you are simply repeating the exact same things that the course instructor or the teacher is himself doing in the software, then also, it's not the exact correct way. As a solution, try that for every 10 minutes of a tutorial, you pause the video and practice that specific thing on your own for a around 15 to 20 minutes because as I always say in almost all my courses that self-practicing is actually the best way to master a concept once you have understood it from a tutorial or a course. Now a lot of people quit Blender because they tell themselves Blender is too hard or maybe I'm just not good at 3D but here's the reality. It's not all about the talent but it's also about time. You must have seen those artists who make insane Blender renders and post it on social media platforms and get thousands and millions of likes. But the truth is that they have been doing it for years and that's how they reached this stage of perfection. So you cannot compare your first week progress to that of their fifth year. So basically the solution of this problem is to set realistic expectations because your first 3D models will definitely look bad and that's completely normal. Now after all this, some people master some topics of Blender, begin to work on Blender, but they also begin to spend hours tweaking different settings looking for the perfect render setup. But the actual truth is that settings don't matter if your scene is bad. No, I'm not at all joking. Your 3D modeling and the topology might be perfect, but the composition, lighting, textures matter way more than having the perfect render settings. So after creating the models, focus on giving the best lighting setup, the best ways to apply materials and textures and other related things. So as a solution, I would suggest you to focus on art first and settings later. And now this one is important because most people think that they need motivation to keep learning Blender. But in reality, motivation comes and goes. What you really need is discipline. Do remember to make Blender a habit of yours. Even 30 minutes to 1 hour a day will add up and you'll begin to see changes in the quality of your art and 3D work in a month or so. Now these are all the points that I told you today in this video and I also want you to use each one of these to succeed in Blender and enter this beautiful 3D world. Most people fail because they give up too soon but if you keep going you will definitely be unstoppable. So now the real question is are you going to be one of the people who simply quit 
or you will be one of the few who actually make it and become a master 3D artist. And if you want to master Blender, then do check out my latest courses from the link in the description and the pinned comment. And so don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more such videos, smash the like button and press that notification bell to get the latest updates. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.